A very warm welcome to you wherever you're watching us from. This is Dalsan TV. My name is Abdizak Ali. Let's have a look at some of our top stories. Somali security forces launch intensified offensive against Al Shabaab in Jubaland. Galmuluk President Excess Transport and Aviation Minister amid intensified anti Al Shabaab campaign. TV journalist falls victim to suicide bombing in Mogadishu. Now, welcome back. Then, forces alongside the Darawish Jubaland forces have commenced intensified operations against the militant group Al Shabaab in the lower Juba region. Specially trained Danab forces supported by the Darwish of Jubalan state government have commenced intensified operations against Al Shabaab group in the lower Juba region. State government officials have confirmed the ongoing military campaign which aims to enhance security and neutralize the threat posed by Al Shabaab militant group. That military strategy has been designed in a phased manner to address various aspects of security situation. The initial phase focuses on the detection and refusal of mines planted by Al Shabaab along roads, thereby mitigating the danger they pose to civilians and security forces. To bolster security measures further, checkpoints have been established in new areas. These checkpoints serve as a crucial checkpoints to inspect vehicles and passengers aiming to tighten the security apparatus and prevent any potential infiltration by Al Shabaab operatives. The recent assumption of security responsibilities by Danab forces and the Jubaland Regional Government Darawish came after the African Union Transition Mission in Somalia Atmis vacated certain areas. The joint forces have stepped up in to fill security vacuum and maintain stability in these regions. A security agency from the state government highlighted that the primary objective of these forces is to prevent any planned attacks by Al Shabaab on army bases in the area, further strengthening the defense posture of the region. The intensified operations against Al Shabaab come at a time when Somalia's top leaders have united their efforts to combat the menace of the extremist group. The leaders have lauded the bravery and determination of the soldiers and local fighters who have successfully dislodged the group from vast areas since the launch of the offensive. During a recent address, the president of Somalia assured the nation that the operations would just persist until a final victory against Al Shabaab is achieved. The president of Galmuduk State, Ahmed Khadir Khorkhor, has issued a statement today re relieving Abdrahman Mohamed Mahmoud of his duties as the Minister of Transport and Aviation. President Ahmed Abdi Karia of Galmuduk Regional State issued an official decree today, relieving Abdi Razak Mohamed Mahmoud of his duties as the Minister of Transport and Aviation. The decree, which caught many by surprise, did not provide specific details regarding the rationale behind President Karia's decision. However, it coincides with the ongoing large-scale anti-Al-Shabaab operations, where government forces have recently achieved significant process in Galmuduk State. President Karia's directive also included the appointment of Levan Abdi Mohamed, the current Minister of State for the Ministry of Transport and Aviation, to assume the responsibilities of the ministry. Galmuduk Regional State has been at the forefront of a relentless campaign against Al-Shabaab, a group that has wreaked havoc in Somalia for years. The government forces, in collaboration with regional and international partners, have intensified their efforts to eliminate the group from the region. Recent operations have witnessed substantial advancements, with significant gains made in the fight against Al-Shabaab. While the direct connection between the minister's dismissal and the ongoing anti-Al-Shabaab operations remains undisclosed, speculations have emerged regarding a potential need for reshuffling within the leadership ranks to further strengthen the region's security apparatus. The decision could also be seen as part of President Kerry's broader strategy to streamline administrative responsibilities within his government, in light of recent accomplishments on the security front. As the news of the minister's dismissal reverberates throughout Galmuduk state, Citizens and political analysts are eager to gain further insights into President Karia's decision. A prominent Somali TV journalist lost his life in a suicide bombing that targeted a restaurant in the capital city of Mogadishu. Prominent Somali TV journalist who lost his life in a suicide bombing has finally been raised in Mogadishu. Abdi Fatah Mu'min Nur, known by his alias Case, was an esteemed journalist working for the Somali cable television. 
He died on Monday after a suicide bomber targeted a restaurant located in close proximity to the presidential palace and national museum, leaving Case dead and four others injured. Authorities confirmed that explosion was caused by suicide bomber who detonated himself outside the restaurant. The police released a statement expressing their condolences and disclosing the number of casualties and injuries resulting from the attack. Information Minister Dauda Wei swiftly condemned the attack, denouncing it as a cowardly terrorist suicide attack. The Somali Independent Media Houses Association, Simha, also condemned the killing of Kais, labeling it as a senseless and brutal act. Responsibility for the attack has been claimed by the Al-Shabaab militant group known for its involvement in numerous acts of violence in Somalia. The group has consistently targeted journalists, civilians and government institutions in a bid to destabilize the country and impose extremist ideology. That's all we have prepared for you. My name is Abdezak Ali. Have a lovely evening.